Hello my friends, today we're going to be covering a CRN Kronos nodes update. Just yesterday, Prime dropped an announcement on us that we've been anticipating for a while now that the new website is in fact up and running. He also dropped us some additional information about an upcoming updated V2 roadmap. We'll take a look at some speculation for that, as well as some other CRN items as we go along here. Starting out, let's go on and dive straight into these websites. So of course what you're seeing here is the old CRN D app. This D app definitely served its purpose for its time. It is a very bare bones setup, but it got the job done and that's what's important. Uh, unfortunately, over time, it built up a couple of relics. You have this approve button up here that I believe was needed early on in the project. It is no longer needed. It's just kind of a gas guzzler that uh, has caused a little bit of confusion in the community with new folks coming in. Uh, the NFT button no longer works. It redirects to a not found page because the minting, once it was sold out, that needed to be deactivated so that folks weren't still trying to mint the NFTs and wasting their gas. Of course, the home and the chart buttons worked as normal, but it's just a very simplistic setup here. I would have loved to take a look at their original website as well. However, the domain has now switched over to their new parent website. So we'll go on and take a quick look at this here. If you're familiar with their old website, you will know that it's very similar to what we just looked at with their D app. It was very bare bones, very minimalistic. And again, it served its purpose, but a lot of times, especially in this space, newer investors come in and they want to see something that looks more slick, a little more professional, and that is exactly what they've done here. In my opinion, they've kept it very minimalistic while at the same time making it look more professional as we just mentioned. I do notice that they have added an updated graphic regarding their nodes, so this appears to be the new branding for the nodes themselves. So far as I can tell, the logo for the project has not changed, but that's just a cool little bit of an addition right there. Then scrolling down a bit, we have a nice little flow that's gonna help newer investors navigate this and figure out how to actually buy in. You have to keep in mind, especially on the Kronos chain, this being a uh, portal through crypto.com basically, we're going to end up with a lot of new investors that do not know how to navigate this space. Even though many of us here now are familiar with DEXs and bridges, swapping our currencies from one to another, even across chains, that's information that a newer investor very well may not have. So it is in fact very important that the project make it simple for folks that are coming in through crypto.com to see how the project works and to be able to actually buy into it. And even for those that aren't necessarily using the crypto.com DeFi wallet, those using MetaMask and such, we start off here with a link as to how to add the Kronos chain. We click that, it goes to a link that's just quickly telling people how to add the RPC networks to their MetaMask, so that's a good thing. This is a link to Chronoswap, where they can swap their Cro for CRN. This is a link to their DApp that we'll take a look at here in a moment. Again, there's that nice new node graphic. This is just saying buy a node, you're earning 0.5 CRN per day. And of course, the ever-present Discord button, which is actually nice. Uh, having a very visible link to Discord is a helpful thing, because a lot of times, I think that new folks coming into a project don't necessarily know to look down at the bottom where a lot of keep their Discord, Twitter, Reddit information. And just having it right there is a nice big flag of, hey, come over here, this is where the main community is, is actually a nice thing. Down here, just another nice little quick breakdown of how CRN works, but let's go on and take a look at that D app. Similarly to the main website, you can see that they kept it very minimalistic while also making it look much nicer and more professional. So we'll go on and connect our wallet here real quickly. Updated from the previous website, we still have the total number of nodes. We still have the number of nodes that we personally have. Uh, the unclaimed rewards for CRN show here. The claim timer is no longer a pop-up that you have to hit the claim button for. It's just going to show that automatically. Uh, we have the button up here to get to the NFTs. This is in fact a link straight to Ebisube so that you can buy the NFTs with confidence knowing that they are the correct one. We get a lot of folks coming through the Discord that aren't quite sure where to buy it or making sure that they're buying the right one. The charting button takes us over to deck screener where we can see the CRN price action as it's going on here. Uh, the buying a node is the same thing here. So you would type in your node name. I believe it needs to be at least more than three characters. You want to avoid putting hashtags in front of those names or they may not show up. And let's test out the caps lock. It looks like they actually have caps lock functionality here. So you're not going to end up with node names such as I have here where the caps lock button was on. It wasn't immediately obvious as I was typing in the name 
games and I ended up with <laughs> this. So that's a that's a nice thing. Actually, it looks like we have a minimum of five characters. I apologize for that. Real quickly before we move on, if you've been enjoying this content and if you haven't already, please consider going down below and hitting that like button, smashing that subscribe button and the alert notification bell so that you can be informed anytime that I release new content on projects such as this. We do have one more important thing to cover on this website. I'm going and disconnect my wallet again here. We'll notice a new option when we are connecting our wallets and that is the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So let me tell you, for as long as I've been in CRN, especially in the Discord, we always, always have folks coming through uh, that can't manage to connect their wallet and 90% of the time that's because they are using the crypto.com DeFi wallet. This being the Kronos chain, which is crypto.com's very own blockchain, you have a lot of newer investors and even seasoned investors coming through using the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So having this as an option is absolutely huge for accessibility. It's going to allow a lot of folk coming in from crypto.com to invest in the project. While many of them I saw just went on and got MetaMask, transferred their funds over and then bought into the project, I'm sure that there were many, many more that unfortunately just chose to walk away because they didn't want to use anything other than the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So having this as an option here is a very, very nice improvement. As far as your nodes go, I do want to point out that this is in fact just a simple website facelift. You do not have to take any steps to migrate your existing nodes to anything else. You simply connect your wallet and they will appear just as they did before. Moving on from the website itself, this is the announcement that Prime dropped along with the website here. So this is just some basic information about the website. There is an important note here that the old website, the old D app is going to maintain operation until tomorrow. That's going to be Saturday, March 26th. And that is important because the old URL to the D app was chronodes.app and that is now going to be chronodes.finance slash app. Try to go to the old D app after tomorrow. It's not going to direct properly and you're going to be very confused and that is why. So make sure you're using the new URL for that. Then the remaining piece of this announcement is essentially stating that there's going to be some more news coming here soon. He also touches a little bit on V2. They're going to be making a new V2 roadmap going over the generalized features that they're expecting for the future. And to me, that is very good news because a high level of transparency in these projects not only allows investors to know what is coming so that they can make their investment decisions with more information available, but it also serves to increase investor sentiment, investor trust in their project. It's just all around a good idea. Overall, I'm personally very happy with the new website and I'm very happy to see that it has finally dropped. It's been being teased for quite a while now, especially with the developer shift over with Diamante's departure as well as the onboarding of the new developers. I tend to think the development got slowed down a little bit there, so I'm hoping to see, especially with the mention of potential upcoming news and this new V2 roadmap, that we may see a much more brisk pace as far as the releases of new utilities and such moving forward. Any positive news at this point is going to be a huge boost to their project. It's going to be a slow process of rebuilding investor sentiment, regaining investor trust, and slowly moving back up those charts. Of course, as with all things on this channel, this is not financial advice, but my personal take at the moment is, as I've been saying in my previous videos before, the actions of Prime and the developers here are not those of ones that are looking to end a project. You would not release a new website. You would not continue working forward at the current price levels if you were not committed to seeing the project succeed. So while CRN may be in a little bit of a tough spot compared to the past month or so, I do believe that they are still working to make this project succeed and that truly is half the battle. If they're able to continue moving forward at a stronger pace, releasing utility, and adding additional functionality to the project, I believe that we still have a bright future ahead of us. But as with all things DeFi, anything is truly possible. At current price levels, this could be a very nice buying opportunity into CRN, but of course, there is always a level of risk there. As usual though, despite an increased number of flutters in the chat due to recent price action, the CRN community core as a whole has maintained positive and helpful throughout all of this. I'm regularly seeing ideas tossed around in chat as to things that can be done to improve the project moving forward, and I would love to hear your opinions as well. So if you have any thoughts on what you'd like to see done with CRN, please leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and opinions, and I would be more than happy 
happy to discuss with everybody. Or if you just want to say hi, I always love hearing from you guys and would appreciate that as well. So guys, thank you so much and I hope you all have a wonderful day.